Come, Jeff. Come, Jeff. Come over here. Ooh, there he is. There he is. Come on. Okay, come over here. He's going to cut in the shoulders. Beautiful. Leave him to die. Come on. Jeff, you know, this is a hot, hot time of the year as we're experiencing. Every day it's getting over 100 degrees. We're spending a lot of time on foot out there. Yesterday alone, we did over 30 kilometers. And you know, one of the things that I've always got with me is a really sturdy backpack. And I will say this, a backpack usually lasts me just one year. You gave me this backpack over a year ago. I've put well over a thousand kilometers on it. It's done thousands and thousands, hung around on the back of the truck. It's got my first aid kit in it. It's got a lot of water. And I will say this, it's not even showing the first sign of wear. Tell me a bit about what goes into a backpack like this, Jeff. Well, I'll tell you, Ivan, you know, our first company, of course, is our Spec Ops brand, is military. And when we embarked on that adventure a decade ago, our goal was to make the toughest, most durable product out there, followed closely by function. But you know what? All the cool little features in the world aren't worth a crap unless you've got tough, durable materials and proper construction, kind of like cooking a meal of any kind. All the ingredients can be right, but unless you got the right recipe, mm -hmm. you don't get anything. In our case, we don't skimp anywhere. 100% Cordura fabric, which is the gold standard in durability and actual functionality. And we use the largest, toughest zippers. Zippers are always a problem on a pack. You've seen Absolutely, them Absolutely, no doubt. We double stitch where we need to, we quadruple stitch where we got to, and we build redundant features in, like extra heavy-duty bottom on it for dragging, an extra heavy harness. All that stuff goes into it, but none of that's any good unless it's comfortable to wear. And if you said, you guys have worn them thousands of kilometers, and these guys aren't the biggest guys, they're strong as heck but a comfortable pack is critical and that durability is an absolute must. Absolutely, Jeff. And you know the carrying capacity of this, I can easily put 10 liters of water in, plus it's got all my, my basic trauma kit that we carry everywhere. So, wow, great, great pack. I really enjoy it and I highly recommend it to anyone who, who's coming over here. You know, that's a great thing you mentioned too, because when you're coming over here, you're always on an aircraft and you risk the chance of losing your luggage. And I always tell guys, buy a pack, I don't care if it's mine, but buy a good pack, Put in your night, put in your meds, your passport, your cash, stuff you can't stand to be without. You ride, you land over here in Africa without your, your big duffel bag full of stuff. It's nice to have this night bag. No doubt. It'll carry you through a safari. Perfect. So always carry that extra stuff with you, and then you're good to go. And like you said, when the meat hits the table, you're ready to roll. This pack can take the beating that you can dish out. No doubt. No you doubt. You guys can do it. Believe me, I'm, I'm getting worn out more than this pack is on this trip. <laughs>